a educational leader, what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you define your leadership style? Yeah, leadership is uh, what we prepare leaders. So we make all our students possess leadership skills. We train them in various modes to become leaders. So that's why we have started a uh, volunteering club also, in which uh, we make them participate in uh, uh, all organizing all the events across the uh, campus as well as outside the campus also. So as far as uh, leadership style means, I work with our uh, staff members. I generally don't command them. Uh, why? Because uh, to be a leader, we should be a motivating factor for all the uh, students as well as staff. So I generally mingle with all the students as well as faculty members and we do work as a uh, team. So that's why we are uh, successful everywhere and everywhere. Uh, what are your upcoming plans for next 10 years for your institution? Yeah, uh, this is 16th year uh, we started our uh, engineering institute. Before that, uh, we were into uh, educational field. Uh, we have been running uh, a school and then a junior college and then a weird college. Uh, from 2006, we started this Dadi Institute of Engineering and Technology. And now, in, for the coming years, we have short term goals and then long term goals. Short term goal is uh, to become an uh, autonomous institute, first of all, in the coming before one year. And then we want to uh, incorporate all the latest technologies in the curriculum. So for which we require autonomous studies. Why? Right? Because unless we become autonomous, we cannot frame our own syllabi. So after becoming an autonomous, definitely we can include all these latest uh, technology oriented courses as well as internships also. So that's why our short term goal is autonomous and then our uh, long term goal is uh, to become a university. What do you think are the greatest strengths of your institution? Since the inception of the institute, uh, we mainly focus on discipline along with the education. Our main uh, thrust is that without discipline, even if somebody is educated, then it will be of no use. Unless you know how to treat the people, how to behave with the people. You cannot be successful in the outer society. So here in our institute, our day one starts with inculcating all these professional and ethical values on par with education. That is our greatest trend of our institute. What according to you are the upcoming educational trends? As everybody might be knowing, uh, any national educational policy or new educational policy has come up, uh, already dropped, has been approved by central government. And in coming three, four years, we are going to uh, every education institution across India have to have the same platform, that means same curriculum across India. So this is something like uh, the education pattern in US and then UK, all other countries apart from India have been following this education policy. So, uh, as these NEP also came into existence, right? definitely our institute <coughs> also has to be in line with national education policy for which majorly internships and then three years engineering, uh, four years engineering will become five years that is called honors BTEC and then there is a curriculum called degree and then honors degree and then internship oriented degrees there are several kinds of uh, uh, new policies coming into place for which we are uh, ready to adapt with all those uh, new educational policies any suggestions you would like to give to the upcoming aspiring students yeah uh, as I have mentioned earlier, now the students uh, majorly are confined to take uh, their certificates. See, most of the students are pursuing their education for the sake of certificates. 
See, once he acquires certificate, then uh, he thinks that he is a graduate. Though he is termed as graduate, can we restart it again because the phone game is showing? Oh, okay. This question will be answered. Yes. <clears throat> Any suggestions you would like to give to the upcoming aspiring students? Yes, definitely. Uh, most of the students, not only in our campus, majorly across uh, the education institutions, they join uh, the B.Tech or uh, whatever B.Sc, B.Com, whatever degrees for the sake of purely degree certificates. So even though they are called or termed as graduates, they cannot achieve anything in their life with the certificate. So, merely uh, students should not treat education for their certificates. It's their lifetime earning or learning policy. See, if they are equipped with all kinds of technologies and skill set, basically along with the curriculum, then only they can cope up with the latest trends of the uh, most of the IT companies or whatever. Uh, self sustainable companies or self entrepreneurs whatever it may be and majorly all the students are aiming for jobs so uh, i generally uh, motivate our students to be not job seeking but job providing entrepreneurs so let them be entrepreneur let them give some uh, 50 to 60 uh, jobs by themselves not aspiring for uh, employment so that's what uh, How are the practices in your institution different from that of others? Yeah, uh, we have best practices uh, presently being adopted in our institute. One of the best practices is mentor. See, we have a uh, very powerful mentoring system here. It's like uh, a guardian uh, next to the parents. So, of course, parents play an important role in the life of a student. And then mainly teacher also plays another role of uh, important role. So that's why we make our faculty to be the guardian of the student. So every mentor, every faculty, they uh, mentor 15 students in their entire year. So during that particular year, they monitor the development of the student in all aspects and they guide them. they identify the weakness of the students and they identify the strengths of the students and then accordingly we will mold the students we will nurture the students mentor plays a vital role in molding the students career that is the uh, best practice and the other one is exposure to the students see though our institute is located in visakhapatnam we have, our activities are not confined to our district or our city see we generally act globally so we expose our students to the global opportunities like we have several professional bodies in line with the institute we have several memberships and we have active membership professional bodies here like ieee iist i uh, iit and then association of competing industry acm then csi there are several we are a part memberships of uh, cii and then uh, ab chamber of commerce So not only uh, being member, but we our students we make our students participate in activities like uh, CIA International Global Summit and then IEEE Extreme uh, 24 Hours Contest, which is conducted across the globe. And then we have Cambridge University uh, English Examination Center here uh, across AP. We are the only center for Cambridge University uh, for the English Examinations uh, Preparatory Center. So these are all kind of uh, best practices which we adopt. So being the chairman of Dadi Institute of Engineering and Technology, what are the checkpoints you maintain every day as well as in long run? Yeah, uh, discipline first of all, and then uh, as earlier said, ethical and uh, moral values, and then skill set imparting, skill oriented trainings uh, on par with the curriculum. So those are the uh, main schedules we follow. Apart from J N T U K curriculum, we impart uh, several skill development uh, training programs as well as uh, uh, campus recruitment training programs uh, on par with the curriculum. 
for which uh, we generally uh, closely monitor the updates in their resume almost day to day activity. So every day uh, on par with uh, discipline, uh, as earlier said, uh, we generally uh, check the updates, latest developments in their curriculum as well as career. So that's what we check uh, every student, uh, individual student uh, uh, through the mentors and we definitely enforce uh, the statistical development of the growth of the student, holistic development of the student. How do you establish healthy relationship in your institution? We have a strong uh, family bonding here across the students as well as faculty. Generally, in some of the institutes, we might be hearing uh, a ragging uh, or whatever uh, criticism or uh, abusing or uh, internal disputes around the students. Now, it is the 16th year, I go we across the campus. None of the students can hear the term like ragging. Why? Because we develop a family bonding relationship with the first year admitted students and the existing students. So they treat the incoming students as their own brothers and sisters coming into the family. So everybody welcomes uh, the newly admitted students into their family and hence we have a strong bonding across the students as well as Faculty in the same manner, uh, we treat our faculty as a fa diet family. So we are all a part of the family in which uh, we strongly uh, strive for the development uh, of our own children. We treat our students as our own children. So hence uh, this bonding is there. So what is your vision and mission as an educational leader? Our vision and mission is to make every student to be the best citizen of India. So none of the students who are educated should attempt for a crime nor involved in antisocial elements. They should not be. See, most of the engineering graduates are involved in cyber crime. So why? Because they are using their technology and their talent in the wrong direction. So we have to guide them. It is a constant process and it's, it should be a constant monitoring system for the students to guide them in a proper way. That's what we do here. My vision and mission is to make our students the best citizens and they will definitely sustain in the market and they will be role models uh, to the entire community and they will be a torchbearer for their family members, particularly. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Is there anything else you would like to share? Nothing. Uh, the development of students is a main motto, and I'm uh, very happy uh, that I have been training uh, so many students every year. Thousands of students we have trained till now, and I'm very happy to be in this uh, education field. Particularly, we have a passion to uh, inculcate uh, quality education to the students, particularly rural based students. So that's my motto and that's going on. I'm quite happy to run all the students. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.